Hello, it's Nancy today. I decided that the way to be able to water my plants without ruining the floor, see this is a nice little laminate floor that's pretty new, I would put these ice cream buckets under them. I used to have a million ice cream buckets. So I've got them under those three and those three and then one of those, the other two plants there, are on the porch getting properly watered by the rain. I hope it's getting them. But you know what happened? I realized that I have actually run out of ice cream containers. I use them for everything. I use them... Boy, this is getting to be quite the video on ice cream containers. See out there on my soap making table, which is of course a mess because all things I touch are a mess. You see there's one, two, three, four, five ice cream containers on there. Two of them are square and three of them are round. But now that most of our children have left home, we don't need to buy ice cream all the time. We never did need to buy ice cream. I mean, ice cream is not one of those things that you can ever say, I need. Oh, that's where they went. Here's some more of the buckets all across there. Yes, indeed. I knew they were somewhere. They used to be stacked up here. They used to be five high, and there used to be four rows of them. But they're gone. They're not even there on the clean dishes. Of course, that's because I took all of the ones I had and I put them under those plants. So that's one thing you can do with those ice cream buckets. You can, they're very good for sticking things in, like, what's that? Some kinds of a beans or seeds or red lentils or I don't know what they are. Anyway, there's all different kinds of things in those buckets that are all foods. And there's plants in them. Oh, and you know what else you can use them for? You can put them, like if you're going to go out harvesting stuff, and you take your lovely basket. This is my, this is my purse. See, it's not a great purse. Do you have a purse like this? See, you can put a, uh, you can put an ice cream container in here. I will just show you how to do it. The many uses of ice cream containers. Okay, so we put the ice cream container in there, and then, lo and behold, this is a waterproof container. So if I want to make felted soaps or something, and I've got that bucket in there, I can put my felt my soaps and then I can leave them in there, and it's not going to drip out on the floor when I'm somewhere like put my basket down. Let's see, and another thing you can use ice cream containers for is for pudding. We've eaten a lot of ice cream in our day. You can put um, pens in them. Yes, you can. See? Lots of pens. I have a great pen collection because as a travel writer, every time I went to a... Every time I checked into a hotel, I would always ask for five pens or seven pens. And it was an odd enough number that it confused them enough that they always gave them to me. If I asked if I could have a few pens, they'd give me two. Always two. Perhaps three. Anyway, what did I come in here for? Oh yes, here's another container of pens. You see? Hey, these pens don't need to be in this container. I need this container for putting under my plants because I've run out of things to put under my plants. Oh, did you see my art gallery outside? Look at this. See my three pretty glass? Don't they look pretty there against the, the colors? I have more of them. You'll have to look on, you'll have to do a search for glass on my on my website, on my YouTube thing. So now I have all these pens, I need to figure out a place to put them. So now they're out here adding to the mess. Let's see if we can make the mess bigger. Have you ever played that game? How to make the, how to make the mess bigger without really trying? My daughter would be so irritated to know that I'm actually showing people my mess. Well, maybe she wouldn't be irritated. She might be amused. Yes, that's a better way to feel is amused. Oh, look, I'm trying to grow tomatoes in the house. These tomato plants, I got them free at Canadian Tire because they were looking pretty spindly and dead. They still look kind of spindly and dead, but now they're planted, and maybe they'll grow. I have some more in here. We'll just go between these messes 
and across this mess and I'll show you these other tomato plants which are now growing. Look at that. This was one plant. It was a spindly little plant. But when I planted it, I planted the root way far away. And so these have come up from it. So it's not looking quite so bad. Look at, see how this one has also sent up shoots from the center? As well as, as well as some from the end. This was the original back there. Yes, indeed. So for the first time ever in my whole life, I am going to try growing tomato plants inside after the season is over. Hey, look at that. I have a tomato on there. Isn't that cool? Yes, indeed. I bet you are really impressed. Really impressed and amazed that I could actually do that. Yes, indeed. The amazing... You just never know what you're going to find out. Oh, you want to see this this, this um, piece of glass? Isn't that pretty? This was actually, I was making stained glass things, and this was just a piece that I had cut pieces out of. And this is what was left after I had cut pieces out of them. So I, I put the lead trim around it, or whatever that's called. Came. Lead came. Pretty, eh? Oh, want to see the windows? See the trees again? Aren't they beautiful? I missed my chance to take a make a video of them when they were dry. You know, I could go back in there in that woods. There's a huge tree back in there that's really yellow. But that would mean I'd have to go out there and I'd have to walk. I would get wet and my foot still hurts. That's my excuses. My foot still hurts. I've still been laying around waiting and waiting for my foot to feel better. Waiting and waiting. Okay, well that's it. This is about ice cream and containers and the many things you can do with them. Especially if they're round. And plastic. Do not try this with cardboard. No. See you later. Soon, I imagine.